Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> It is 3.40 a.m. I'm on my way to the airport. This is the start of my Puerto Rico holiday reading vlog. He is dead. <laughs> I'm so tired. I am in Puerto Rico. <laughs> I haven't had much time to film anything. Um, so yeah, I, we have very busy like scheduled days and all of our activities are very far away because I live in the mountains. So there's a lot of driving time and then when like we're doing stuff. Anyway, yesterday I got to the airport. I got picked up. We went to Chili's. Then we came back here to my grandma's house and a couple of members of my family came to visit just to say hi and stuff. Um, and I'm going to show you the three books that I brought with me on this trip. I don't think I'll have a lot of time to read these. I want to finish at least one because I am at 99 out of 100 books for my goal of the year. So I have to finish at least one. Um, so on the plane I, re I read uh, Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. I think I have about 100 pages left, very close to the end um, of this book. So I'm hoping at least if I am going to read something, it'll be this one. And then I also brought with me the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and also a vow so bold and deadly so far for me this one it's like a 3.5 star I'm really enjoying like the discussions of racism and a whole bunch of other topics that are being discussed in this book but I'm not loving the plot as much as I thought I would but yeah these are my reading plans for my holiday Puerto Rico reading vlog here um, today actually is Christmas Eve so right now we're going to start getting ready to go to my uncle's restaurant and he you can hear the chickens um, my uncle's restaurant is in Umacao and we're gonna go there for lunch but like we're gonna have to start getting ready at 11 we're leaving here at 12 and we'll get there at like 1 p.m. So that's the plan for lunch and then later here for Christmas Eve we're eating lasagna here at my grandma's house with the whole family so yeah <laughs> but yeah that's the update hopefully i'll be able to listen to the audiobook for razor blade tears as i'm getting ready for lunch and dinner and all of that because i don't think i'll have any time to like actually sit down and read today so yes It's so sunny, I look crazy, and I haven't been able to update anything, but I'm about to do like a little tour of my house just so I can look back at this, of my grandma's house. I used to live here. So I'm gonna show like the outside of the house and like the backyard, and then my old room and stuff. I just wanna be able to look back at this and like look at it, I guess. So I'm about to show some stuff. This is my grandma's house. It's huge and beautiful. I love it. It looks even better at night with the lights on and stuff. And this is just like my old neighborhood. 
down there there used to be a drugstore that used to be my grandpa's over there this is the little hill to go downstairs well not downstairs to my backyard and I used to um, go down this hill with a skateboard for like hours when I was younger there's some chickens yay this is like the backyard sort of there's some parking spaces down here down here was my quinceanera like a couple years well like five years ago now um and this is the backyard so this is the backyard it looks a lot different now because of the hurricane there used to be like pineapples and like a whole bunch of vegetables down here but because of the hurricane it took everything away but there's still a couple things left there are some chickens down here look at the chickens Oh my god, chickies! <laughs> Please don't attack me, I am terrified. <laughs> chickies! Oh my goodness. Um, oh my god, this looks so different from when I was younger, but there used to be like huge um, palm trees right here. You can see the stumps, but they're not there anymore. And back in the day, all of these like bushes and stuff were not there, and you could see the river really good. I'm gonna see if I can peek through so there's the river right down there um, I used to be able to just walk down this way and just go um, to the river and it's actually a lot um, deeper this time because it used to be like just hit right above my ankles but now it looks like it would be like waist deep so yeah this is the backyard um, we used to have parties down here but as you can see Hurricane Maria took everything so it looks a little rough <laughs> But yeah, that's the backyard, and now I'm gonna take y'all to my old room upstairs. Also, this is what the house looks like from the back. So that is the parking spaces. This is this floor that we're sta that we're staying on right now. That's my grandma's house and everything. And then I used to live on this uh, top floor right up here. So this used to be my mom's room. That used to be like the laundry room. So I'm gonna take y'all up there now. Okay, so this is the entrance to where I used to live. Oh my God. This is so weird. Okay, hold on. These are the stairs that you have to go up. <sighs> More stairs. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so different. Hold on. There's a little thing right here. Alright, this used to be our living room. These were not the couches that we used to have. Um, and then there's some balconies up here. And that was like our dining room table also not the same one that we used to have and then our kitchen this little like island thing and another balcony <laughs> and then down this hall this used to be my sister's oh there's such an echo my sister's and mine bathroom this used to be my room this used to be my sister's room and this used to be my mom's room oh my gosh <laughs> it looks so different and then my mom had her own bathroom and everything oh there's me yeah, my old room's a mess, so I'm not showing that on the on the vlog. Let me see about my sister's room. Ooh, so my sister's room has the, I don't know what, these are called bunk beds. These are me and my sister's old uh, bunk beds. So I used to sleep down here, and my sister always used to sleep up here. And I used to have so much insomnia because I thought that my sister was going to fall, like the whole bunk. This top bed was going to fall on me. So yeah. <laughs> here we are in my old room. <laughs> crazy but it's okay um it is currently whoa it's currently 75 degrees in oh can i can I focus hold on 75 degrees in san lorenzo puerto rico um it's pretty hot over here and it's the middle of december well end of december but i wanted to update that finally yesterday i finished racer blade tears by sa cosby and this got me to my 100 uh books for the year goal so i'm really uh, stoked about that i don't think that i'll read 
more uh, by the end of the year maybe like at the beginning of the year I'm, I'm gonna start another book but I might finish it like at the beginning of next year so I'm a little conflicted on my rating for this I feel like a two star is way too low um, but a three star is kind of high for me I don't know because I loved the conversations that this book has i'm pretty sure that i've talked already about like the plot of this book which is about these two dads whose sons are killed and their sons were married um and there's like a hate crime and someone murders them um and then these two dads are out looking for who did this and out to kill them so i really like the premise but i don't really love like actiony type of books i feel like and this was a lot of action so if you're like a really fast paced type of book this just wasn't for me specifically but i loved the conversations like i can think of so many people that should be reading this book and should be reading about these conversations about um racism and homophobia i think it tackled those uh topics really really well but when it came to like the plot and the characters i just wasn't really into it and i feel so bad because i wanted to be so into this book i wanted to love this book i wanted to finish my year with a five star read which is why i picked this up and i'm so sad that it wasn't i honestly don't know if also the whole like me being on holiday i don't know if i'm more distracted and i wasn't like paying as much attention as i should have to this book but maybe that could also be a factor into why i didn't like it but yeah i think right now i'm sitting whoa it's everything is so loud over here the chickens the the freaking cars everything is so loud but i love it <laughs> But I think I'm gonna be sitting at a 2.75 star for now and then in the future once it marinates a little more I'll probably change my rating on Goodreads. And then as you guys know I brought with me uh, the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and a vow so bold and deadly and I think I'm going to be picking up uh, the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and even if I finish this in the new year in January I'm also going to be picking up a vow so bold and deadly because that was one of the books like I cannot believe that I didn't read that in 2021 so yeah i don't know when i'll be able to start this during my holiday trip because i've been so so busy uh like every day something has been planned uh for me to go out and like see family and do things which i'm so grateful for obviously i haven't had much time for, to read which is why i didn't bring that many books i honestly could have just brought one more and i would have been fine but i was like i'm gonna be down there for like almost two weeks so let me bring three books because that's how much i usually read but I'm on holiday and I'm doing things every day, so yeah. So that's the update. I'm about to start editing um, my the 22 books that I want to read in 2022. And I'm about to make some coffee because I've been drinking coffee every morning over here because it's so good. The coffee over here is so good. I'm going to take some with me um, to Ohio. <laughs> Sí, no. 
Thank you.